Hello everybody, before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap for tonight, I need to thank I'm264 Shirt for pointing out a mistake I made in yesterday's pricing game recap, and it was in Grand Game. It involved the two grocery items that were more than the target price of $7. I mentioned the cheer detergent was $7.59, but it was actually $7.69. So I'm264 Shirt, I thank you very much for pointing that out, and now I'll move aside for the disclaimer. And now it's time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for Tuesday, January 31st, 2012. Today's pricing games played were the following to end the month of January. Squeeze play, that's too much! Shell game, one wrong price, hole in one, and flip flop. The first contestant was Shannon. She played Squeeze Play for a trip to New York, modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. Very uh, nifty bonus added to this trip. If she won the trip, she would get a private lesson with an actor to do a famous show tune. To sing a famous show tune. Pretty cool. Anyway, the first number was 8, and the last number was 7. The numbers in the middle were 3, 8, and another 3. Shannon decided to take out the second three to make the price $8,387. I felt pretty good about this. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price, it was $8,387. Shannon's on her way to NYC. Right on. Sandra played that too much for a 2012 Chevrolet Camaro LS Coupe modeled by Marvelous Man Whale. She said the three words on the sixth price, $28,521. Well, when it was revealed what the actual retail price was, Manuela said that Sandra went too much. The actual retail price was $24,100. Went two prices too many. The fourth price was too much. That was $24,650. As soon as I saw $24,650, I figured that was the price that was too much. Beth played Shell Game for a six-piece Hayneedle.com Modern Look Queen bedroom group that also included a GS700 Comfort Air Queen mattress and a pair of Apple iPod Touches with 64 gigs of space, all modeled by Manuela, valued at $5,487. If Beth was successful in getting all four shells, she would have a chance to win that cash amount. Gwendolyn showed the prices of the four small prizes. First, we had a stainless steel fondue set priced at $175. Beth believed the actual retail price was lower, and it was lower as Ra um, not Rachel, Gwendolyn showed it to be $150. Beth placed her first one chip in front of the second shell. Next, we had a powerful 32-ounce blender priced at $40. Beth believed the actual retail price was higher. And yes, it was higher as Gwendolyn showed it to be $99. She now placed her second one chip in front of the first shell. Next was an easy-to-use vegetable slicer priced at $60. Beth believed the actual retail price was lower. Gwendolyn showed it to be higher with $79. There went her chance of the cash bonus. Hmm. I thought she was right on lower. Finally, we had a two-slice stainless steel toaster priced at $65. Beth believed the actual price was lower. And yes, it was lower as Gwendolyn showed it to be $41. And she 
place your third one chip in front of the third shell. So, the only shell the ball could not be underneath was the fourth shell. If it was, Beth would lose. Drew was going to start with the fourth shell, but Beth didn't want him to. So, he went under to the first shell first. Was the ball there? Nope. Was it underneath the second shell? Yes! The ball was there and Beth became a winner! Right on. Kelly, a male, played one wrong price for a Morrison pool table from Golden West Billiards, modeled by Awesome Amber, a 59-inch high-def plasma Samsung TV with built-in Wi-Fi, also modeled by Amber, and a stainless steel refrigerator with 17 cubic feet of space, eight shelves, and a clear full-width deli drawer, modeled by Gwendolyn. Kelly believed the one wrong price went to the TV at $2,599, and not the refrigerator at $1,599 or the pool table at $3,599. I was thinking the refrigerator was the one wrong price. Well, when Gwendolyn revealed the price of the TV, it turned out that it was $2,599. That was a right price. The one wrong price was at the pool table. Amber revealed it to be $4,995. Angela played hole-in-one for a Toyota Tacoma 4x2, modeled by Amber, valued at $18,765. For the product placement of the game, Angela chose the strip of fruit-flavored candy buttons to be placed on the first line, as it was done so by Gwendolyn. For the second line, she chose the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, as that was placed by Manuela. For the third line, she chose the 8-pack of 6-ounce Yoplait yogurts, and that was placed by Manuela. For the fourth line, she chose the 1.9-ounce container of Splenda, that was placed by Manuela. Actually, that was Gwen. Sorry about that. Fourth line, she chose the Pledge Polish. And that was placed by Manuela. And finally, we had the Ship Move Free Advance Pain Relief that was placed by Gwendolyn. So now, time to reveal the prices. Gwendolyn revealed the price of the candy buns to be $1.39. Off to a good start, I would say. The second line now for the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, one will reveal the price to be three seventy nine. Next was the yogurt, and that was priced at five ninety nine as Gwendolyn revealed it. And now Manuela did some price revealing. For the Splenda now, I didn't feel too good about this. Neither was true. The price was two dollars sixty nine cents. So she was coming from the third line, which isn't bad. After Drew missed his inspiration putt, Angela went up to do her putt, and it seemed like she hit the ball a little too hard, and it kind of moved a little to the right, going past through the hole, but it actually bounced back, and while Angela had her head turned, she then turned around and saw that the ball went into the hole for a hole-in-one! Terrific! She now has a new truck! Finally, Amy played flip-flop for a World War II aircraft-inspired desk that came with a comfortable leather chair, along with an Apple iMac computer with 8 gigs of RAM, a 2 terabyte hard drive, and an all-in-one photo printer modeled by Amber. The wrong price was $3,593. Amy seemed she was only going to flop making the price $3,539, but then she decided to flip as well to make the price $5,339. I was feeling just on flipping to make it $5,393. Well, when the actual retail price was revealed, it was $5,339! Amy was right to flip and flop, and she became a winner. Maestro Mason 1987 wanted me to point out that 
This is the first time since May 31st, 2010 that Flip Flop has been won by a contestant who decided to flip and flop. So we ended the month of January with four big wins. They were Squeeze Play, Shell Game, Hole in One, and Flip Flop. And I named the MVPs of the prices right. Shannon, Beth, Angela, and Amy. Angela had a pretty good day. She also won her showcase that involved 18 karat white gold jewelry, specifically a diamond necklace and ring. The necklace was under one and a quarter carats, had 28 baguettes and a 46 round brilliant cut diamond. The ring had 15 sparkling baguettes, and also in her showcase, she won trips to Amsterdam and Paris. This week, the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap is sponsored by two sponsors, Top Secret Popcorn, Make It Pop, and... Bahama Breeze Island Grill. Feed your island spirit. So, uh, we did not see Drew in his shoulder sling today, and Neil Rock 87 mentioned that he will not be in a sling until next Monday, because yesterday the tape date of The Price is Right was January 5th. Today's tape date was from November 30th, 2011. Tomorrow, December 5th, 2011 is the tape date. Thursday, the tape date was from 12-6-2011, and for Friday, it was also from 12, will also be from 12-6-11. Next Monday, we'll see Drew in a sling again, as the tape date was from January 3rd. And next Tuesday's show, we'll also, we'll also have a tape date from January 3rd. Next Wednesday, the tape date is from December 7th, next Thursday show, January 4th is the tape date, and next Friday, February 7th will be the tape date. So Maestro Mix 1987, if you're watching, just want to clear that up with you right now. So, this is Mr. Horgan saying, help control the pet population, have your pet spayed or neutered. My beloved dog Princess sure was spayed when she was still alive. Well, folks, see you tomorrow.